Let's go see what we've got. There was a boss back there, but I don't want to fight him yet. I think it was a boss. It was a big dude with a hammer. Hammer. That lagged up. I think it's, it's got to be the quick resume. Whenever you try to quick resume, it's just like lag. Nothing over here. This has been a great summer game. Why didn't they just release this in June? It's not enough summer games. It's not enough winter games. There's literally nothing out here. New Carcina. Senia. Hmm? They're asleep. Oh, he is breathing. Okay. There's like no noise. Well, right when I said that, someone's... Oh, it's like bottles. Film. I think they're all like dogs. Nope, there's a cat. My guess is it is the dev team's pets. Nice to see ya. Fresh face in town. This is Nelly. And right before trash day, too. What's trash day? Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what trash day is. <laughs> I couldn't spoil the surprise for you. You know, you'll know soon enough. This is Addy Pysing. And that is the long complex history of Slack Tide's trade route with new Carcinia. A mere consecutuere. Consecutuere. Wow. I'm so glad I stuck around to learn all that lore. Thanks, Uncle Addy. Oh, you. S fell through the world. I'm just trying to explore. High tide moonshine. This is a receipt from a far... Oh, that's the joke. It's the pharmacy receipts are always crazy long. Got it. Got it, got it. This place is huge! This is Eerie... Crabateur? <laughs> Enamored with the sight of our fair city? I can honestly say, I've never seen anything like it. You should go and explore, but I'd stay topside if I were you. The seabed can host some pretty sketchy characters. Tortellini! Welcome to New Carcinia. Wow. A beacon of civilization amongst the harsh violence of the sands between. A testament to the pre prevailing power of industry. City of Dreams, the big crab apple, crab apple. And the defining pillar of trash economy, which supports all of crustacean society. How did I get into this conversation? My name, you ask? Tortellini, the town greeter. At your service. I'm beyond excited to greet two new f visitors in a single day. Oh, the shark. Whoever the shark really is. Because it's like on a straw. 
Is that a lot? Not at all. We usually get 20 or 30. Then why... Wait, did you say two? Was the other one a shark carrying the coolest shell you've ever seen? Oh, a friend of yours? Not at all. I've got to kick that guy's butt and get my shell back. Oh, -ho, a sworn enemy then. This day gets even more exciting by the minute. Got to catch him before he sells my shell to who, knew, who knows who. Can you tell me where he went? Not at all. I greeted him with gusto and then didn't give him a second thought. Like I'm going to do to you. What sort of town greeter would I be? I looked behind me to take tabs on those I've already greeted, rather than facing forward to greet those yet to come. Okay, okay. Where would someone trying to sell a shell go then? I can think of exactly four places. They might have tried to sell it at... Sell it to Shellfish Desires. Clever. The Luxury Goods Store. If it's more of an antique shell, then may have gone to check if the museum curator might purchase it. Is that a reference to Animal Crossing? Because, like, the fossils are always in the shape of, like, a shell, a dome. Uh, where was I? Failing those, they might have visited Bottom Feeders, the dive bar in the lower crust, to try to pass it off as some piece of gutter trash. Finally... I'm gonna have to fight that dude, I can already tell. And finally, they could have gone to this back alley blacksmith to sell it for scrap. Okay, thank you so much. I'll check out the, all those places. Godspeed, small fry. Would, would that I could give you more of a tour. But my work is never done. Whilst there remain travelers left ungreeted. I don't want to miss stuff, but every time I go back, there's nothing there. First place is the luxury store. There's so many NPCs and none of them are voiced. Dang it! Wrong button again. Delta. You see that hermit over there? Isn't he so mysterious? Let Lewis. The one standing uncomfortably close to us right now? Heavens no, not them. The mysterious blue one over by the bar. Oh, please. Tell me you don't mean Firth. Tilapia went on a date with him. And he tried to get her to invest in sand dollars. You deserve someone better, Delty. Some hard-working crab who will treat you right. But he's just so mysterious. She looks like she has a toilet seat on her head. Vendus. I've just been unable to stop thinking about that awful business happening in the grove. Are you Gula? Would you hush up and enjoy your kelp, Benedict? All this bleeding heart nonsense is ruining brunch. Okay, so second, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna settle some stuff. Huh. How did you get here? Well, hey there. Long time no see, fellow hustler. You're that guy from the bridge. Sure am. First the name. Don't erode it, you know. You, you seem pretty happy. Didn't you just lose all your money? Ah, aw. Of course not, pal. Not even close. A shrewd investor never puts all his shells in one... I mean, puts all his butts in one shell, you know? And that's my goal in life. I get butts into shells. Specifically, my butt. Specifically, fanciest, flashiest, most ex impressive shell I possibly can. Feel me? Not really. I don't want to hear about your butt. I'm a shell trader, kid. That's a hermit's lot in life. Always looking to upgrade and swap out the old shell for a better one. If you're smart, you'll get into the business too. A whole ocean of opportunity could be passing you by, you know? What do you say? Ready to start your journey up the property ladder? We could get, get you in a 
flashy new shell by Tide's End, you know? I think I'm okay, thanks. You're lost, kid. Hey, is there an old lady in there? Oh my gosh, so many more NPCs. Bartleby Shoals. Ah, I do love my morning constitution around New Carcinia Square. So says I, Bartleby Shoals. Panga. Trash, trash futures have never been brighter. Lingula. I'm positively drowning in this stuff. It's such a rapidly growing market. Simply can't understand how any crab could miss out on these opportunities. Val Condominium. What a name. Souvenirs, tchotchkes, miscellaneous baubles of various sizes and quality. Get them at their cheapest right before Trash Day restock. I'm guessing Trash Day is when humans dump a bunch of garbage in the ocean and it falls down here. Another profitable trash day is just ahead of yours truly. 34 of yours truly. Oh, this is Loachworth. The hotel is booked to the gills with eager tourists. And I don't even have to lift a pincer. Oh, that's the way down to uh, that guy. Can I ring this? No. They don't want to talk. Et, or E.T. What do you want? I'm sorry, but I'm a very busy business crab. Very busy with business. Oh, sorry. It looked to me like you were just standing around. What you have just told me is that you know nothing about doing business. I guess not. Let's claim the area. Where was the first location? That's the museum. So the first one's going to be this way. I don't know where these are going, but I figured I would give it a go. Go? Sand dollar, stowaways. A little guy that looks like a coin. Vanishes on death, but prevents you from losing microplastics. Oh, no, I'm in the seedier parts. Oh, his legs are like a toy car. Shandy. I used to have half at all. I used to be somebody. In an RC car. Then one, then one bad deal and pow. Down here with this sorry lot. Do I look like a bottom feeder to you? Of course not. I'll make it back up there one day, no matter how many other crabs I gotta step on. I think that was a fish in an RC car. Oh, I love your shell, little cutie. Thanks, it's new. This is a tilapia. Oh, we heard about her. 
It doesn't really feel like me, though. Well, you wear it well in the meantime, sweetie. I'm sure you'll find the right shell for you eventually. I'll let you in on a little secret. If you can find a shell you're really fond of, you can pay your pay shellfish desires to insure it for you. That way, if it ever gets lost or damaged, they'll replace it for you, no questions asked. Whoa, that's actually pretty useful. Thanks, ma'am. Alright, so they will let me permanently have a specific type of shell. Hey, it's one of these things! Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. I need to get back up. I think I got. I should do them in order. Just in case? Let's get to the upper crust. Beta, or Beta. There's no better city in the world than New Cassin Carcinia. I've never seen, ever, and I've never even been anywhere else. That's how great it is. It's a keyboard. You got nothing to say. Shellfish Breeder. Welcome to Shellfish Desires, the flagship brick and mortar store of Shellfish Corp. How goes it? My, vis my visibly financially troubled friend? Is it that obvious? It is. I suppose you've come to the upper crust for a bit of window shopping. No shame in it. Plenty of folks pause on their way through town to take a look at our luxury shells. An apple it is. You've got five minutes before your pause becomes a loiter, so enjoy them while you're well, while they last, my friend. Uh, have you seen my shell? Did a big shark come into town and try to sell you a shell recently? Oh, he sure did. I told him to get stuffed. We don't do trade-ins here. And even if we did, I'd never take the kind of beat-up junk he sold me. Not a clue where he went after that. Does in nobody in this city pay any attention? Why would I spend anything on any of these? Oh, a Felix Cube! Oh my god, a rubber ducky! I say that and then immediately I'm like, oh, I want these. What the heck? Really? Among Us reference? The little bro? I feel like this one's a Hitman reference, but I don't know for sure. Because it's an explosive duck. That doesn't necessarily mean Hitman. Trophy. Oh, Mr. Krabs! Cult leader. Oh, the lamb. I don't know if that's something. That's just a maid. Shell insurance. At Shellfish Desires, you can pay microplastics to insure any shell you've worn before. At a moon snail sh shell, you can pick any insured shell to start with every time you respawn. Do I have to pay for it every time? Or is it a one-time buy? Ernest Ingfield Esquire. Oh, Jackson. Every day I find myself looking down, wishing you were up here with me. 
claw in claw. The tide we crossed paths. The tide we crossed paths, I was immediately smitten. But my family would never approve of me with a com commoner. There's nothing common about you. Maybe one day I'll possess the courage to tell you. But until then, I shall yearn for a from afar. Oh, so that's Jackson right there. I'm telling you, dude. Ancient civilizations were way more advanced than we thought. This is Toby. They built all sorts of stuff out of the natural environment. They had no need to wait for Trashed Island to show up. It's a snapper. What? Like those medieval nutjobs in the shallows? Advanced my shell. No, 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 no. Way cooler than that. They made stuff that still hasn't been recreated today. And they did it with magic. All right. I think you need to lay off the seaweed. Jack Fish, not Jackson. Look at that big stupid museum. What's the point of a whole building to store old crap from the past? Call me when they start showing off objects from the future. Police tape. Hey, can I go out this way? Shellfish Corp contractor. No! Okay, okay. I'll go somewhere else. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. I'm just under a lot of pressure, okay? People are not happy that they can't, go, can't get to the open ocean right now. They keep calling me names like phoned in process, progress blocker and saying my fence is lazy design. Because <laughs> he's a... He's a wall. He's a whatever you call him. A, a wall that uh, prevents people from going through. There's a good reason for it. Trash Island is on its way here right now. We kept all the avenues of transit open during Trash Day. It's It'd be a goddamn ship, ship show in here. Why can't all these civvies understand that the rules are there for a reason? Excuse me, what is this building? This is conch? Conch? Oh, uh, what? Oh, little one, you stand before the new Carcinia Museum of Carcinized History, I say. Oh, neat. Could I go in? Apologies. The museum is currently closed to the public while we put the finishing touches on the new exhibition. Oh. Hey. I'm looking for a tall shark who stole my shell. You seen anyone like that? Hmm, can't say I have. If I'd traveled here to fence stolen goods, I'd start in the lower crust down beneath us. Gotcha. Careful down there, I say. I say, careful. Radio's making some kind of noise. I can't really understand it, though. So that's the entire top done. Let's go meet Jackson and also steal this item. Oh, this is Geb, not Jackson. You see this here? Best view in the lower crust. I'll be honest, it just looks like a stinky alleyway to me. Hey! Very stinkiest. Brings a tear to one's eye, don't it? Okay, I was like, can I climb this? Yes. Yes, I can. Hmm. 
another bread claw. We guess same thing. Sorry, pal. No entry here right now. Still cleaning up the path after last trash day. I'll have it done soon, promise. Can you really clean all this up by yourself? They'll fire me if I don't, so yes. Hey, this is Jackson Rust. Oh, is that a ravioli for a hat? Is that what that's supposed to be? Used to be I had a job up topside. Quick quick thing. Helping some well-to-do family with some mo trash moving. There was a fine fella who seemed to take it shining to me. Sometimes I wonder what he's up to. Creepily staring at you. Uh, Baltimore. This place sucks. We talk. Boston. Are you all going to be named after cities with bees? Hey, buddy. You got to get a load of the, my friend over there. Over here. This crab will tell you how things really are. <laughs> He'll say the stuff we're all thinking in private. The kind of stuff that topsiders don't want you to hear. You hear? This place sucks. Good, good talk. No. Wait, that's not your face. Boris. Or Morris. You should have just been Boris. No more, no more discussion. I'm headed to flop some veil. That's that. Morrison. <laughs> Morris and Morris' son. Dad, you gotta quit that job. Didn't you read the studies? Working around all that gunk totally damages your brain. It's scientifically proven. Why do you get a face but your son does not? A load of crab, if you ask me. If my brain was getting damaged, it'd be. It'd have happened by now. I've already been working for Shellfish Corp for how many times was it again? Gar. Just taking it taking it one day at a time. Maybe one day I can afford to take it a whole week at a time. Not not getting my hopes up though. Crusty. Everyone calls me Krusty. Hey, Krusty. Over here, Krusty. Yo, Krusty. How's it going? I'm so tired of it. I'm sorry. You have to deal with all that name calling? That's the worst part. It's my real name. This is Tim. Why aren't you wearing a shell? You look cold. His name's Dune. Just waiting for the right one, I suppose, kid. <laughs> it's like Tiny Tim. What is this? Half beat. Hey, small fry, word of advice. Don't stick your claws in what's going on here. Tim Pondo. Ten, ten pounder. Yo, a lot of plastics, Porgy. A lot of plastics. You're good for it, though, right? Porgy. Hi, I'm in this. I'm in significant trouble. You want me to help with that? No, thank you. I'll never grow as a person if I don't learn to fight my own battles. Okay, hope it goes well. Thanks. It probably won't. <laughs> Can I not save you? Hey, if you want to do it on your own, do it on your own. Coley. Hey, Manta. Yeah, Coley. So, Manta, obviously. Okay. What are we doing? Uh, like right now. Like right now? We're hanging out with the, by the crystal. Hanging out by the crystal? Yeah. You want to do, do anything after this? I know there's another cool crystal on the other side of town. We can go hang out by that. You're the best. Hey, Manta. Yeah, Coley? That guy broke our cool crystal. No way. Just walked right up and broke it. What happened to live and let live, Corey? Coley? No idea. Life really isn't what it used to be. Want to go find another cool crystal? I sure do. Can't let jerks like that ruin our chill. So true. Bye, guys. Cricket. I hear that the upper crusters technology is way ahead of what we've got down here. Yeah, but Axel. Yeah, for sure. I hear that they've got some magic trash that let them send messages. 
all the way to space and back. I heard that they've already cracked teleportation. They have, actually. <laughs> and they can upload a crab's brain into a totally different body. We're shucked, man. How am I supposed to compete for jobs with a teleporting crab? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Manhattan. Oh, another one that's named after a city. What ho, gentle crab. Uh, hi. How's it going? Truly terrible. But I can't let that keep me down. I'm... I have an endeavor that will see me in the big cans at last. It can't possibly fail again. Yo. Oh, he can't actually hurt me. Okay. I was trying to hit him. Patrick. Honestly, I like it down here where it's dark. It feels cozy, like being under a rock. Really, Patrick? I just wish the houses didn't get soggy. That's another SpongeBob reference. Gernard? I used to work out in the Vale, sorting garbage for Shellfish Corp. But things outside the reef have been getting scary lately. Crabs losing their minds. New predators coming in. No thanks. No job is worth that. I'll take my chances in the city. At least the only predators I gotta worry about here are the loan sharks. Well, have you seen one? I'm kind of looking for one. Yasmin. Yeesh. My commute to Flops on Vale is getting worse all the time. Iggy. You ought to take a fish car. I heard it's pretty affordable. Sure, it used to be. They only kept piece prices low until they could run Crab Taxi out of business. Crab Taxi was just a scheme by wealthy investors to take funding away from the scale rail. And the scale rail was only going to serve privileged neighborhoods in the first place. So screw it, I'll swim there myself if I have to. These are the two that were supposed to go find the next... The next crystal? No. Kind of expected that. I feel like if I sit on all these, there's going to be an achievement, because why else would they be here, right? Bonko, the end is nigh. Nigh, I tell you. Nigh! You there, young men. I trust you've made proper preparations for the apocalypse. The apocalypse? What? Oh dear. Oh dear. Dear, dear, dear. The ignorance of our youth. The apocalypse. The end of all things, big and small. Cities collapsing. Crabs devouring crabs. Fish learning to drive. And of course, the gunk. The gunk? Indeed. No one knows where it comes from. But it can appear wherever crabs call home and chokes the life out of whatever it spreads. And surely before long it will cover even this city. That sounds horrible. What should I do to prepare? I have no idea! I was really hoping you did. That's why I approached you. I came to you. Huh? Are you sure you know what you're talking about? I don't see any gunk in the city. Calling me crazy, are you? You'll see. You'll all see. What was this town called? Or this this is Ron? Huh? Orfe? Be wary of topsiders, small fry. They'll make you feel special while you're useful. Don't be fooled. I moved here from across the sands between, because some rich bastard said I had it in for me to be a shell model. Me. Can you imagine? Needless to say, you kicked me to the curb before you knew it. So yeah, don't trust topsiders. They'll pay you like a 
they'll play you like a goddamn fiddle. Play just like a goddamn fiddle! Talk to all of you guys. Yeah. So, ooh. ooh. Oh crap! Where's my phone? Oh, it wasn't a rickroll. I apparently got coconut mauled. Sure. I don't know what coconut mauled means. Devario. Hey, kid. Hey, mister. Be sure to take care of yourself. I've seen too many good crabs let themselves waste away down here. They'll tell you no one gets polluted in the reef. Down here in the lower crust, it happens. It happens. But thanks, I'll be careful. I hope you have a real nice day. I feel like they will move, but I, I would rather get the crystals now. Whiff. Hmm. Not a lot of hermits left in the reef these days. Not really sure why. Any mass mid migrations I should know about? Beats me. I'm not really involved with the community. Sorry. Well, it's like moving on its own. Well, happy to meet you, regardless. Keep safe, small fry. Are they all the same? Yeah, they seem to be all the same. I'll just check this third one if it's the same. Two of them were the same, then they're all the same. Gobi. Hey, little guy. I'm not that little. Think so? I'm pretty little. And you're even littler than little old me. Step out of the city and meet some real big guys. You'll feel pretty little. Pretty quick. Crabs up here, is there? Odd. This feels like a place for like a fight. Secret fight. Oh, I jumped down too soon. I don't think there's any uh, any characters in here to talk to. I think we're almost done with everyone. Talk to her, we talk to him. That's bottom feeders, which is one of the locations I have to go to. Scuttle. Living on the bottom is bad enough. 
But listening to that bang, bang, banging of that crusty old blacksmith is going to drive me shucking crazy insane. Go somewhere else. Mora. Uh, living by the square lets me visit Topside almost three times a week. It's almost like I'm a real Topside. That car reminds me so much of Toy Story, but I can't get close enough to it. It's like a uh, RC. I think that was the name of the RC car. Another bread claw. Oh, doctor said, oh, this is scabs. Doctor said I can go back to work if I'm not coughing up blood. That sounds nice. Very nice of your doctor to say that. Cubicle. Rocco, you know, I'm not as tough as I look. You don't look that tough. Thanks for rubbing it in, guy. Yeah, why would I say that? Yeah, you don't look that tough. Turbot. Roughing it in the city ain't easy. But I'd rather be struggling down he here than dead up th out there. We get news of more towns getting polluted every week. Count me out of that kind of vibe. I'm going to try rolling into him with my, uh, my thing. After I talk to everybody. Oh, that's an urchin that's alive. Eric. Whoa, 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 steady on. Not one step further, mate. You're going to want to keep your distance. How come? How come? Your eyes full of sediment, mate? Can't you see what I am? I'm the type of guy who hurts everyone I touches, mate. Oh, that can't possibly be true. I, I bet you haven't found the right person to show your affection to yet. I could, I could give you a hug. Maybe that'd help you open up. Bloody shell, mate. You're an odd one. Take my advice and leave me be savvy. Just both a favor and leave me alone, mate. What the bloody hell? What I bloody tell you, mate? Everyone's got the same story. Oh, well, Eric can't be that pointy. That they've got such a sense of humor and then what happens you get poked just like the rest of them can't say i didn't warn you mate i won't give up what i won't give up what is this like an anime like naruto thing i'm gonna hug you no matter what it takes look mate i really appreciate the effort but i wasn't being metaphorical you see the spikes right the physical spikes mate the spikes what'll spike you i've been through worse it's your funeral, mate. Ah! Alright, great joking around, mate. But seriously, stop it. This is a mite embarrassing. Oh, never stop. I, I, I can't just leave you like this. Look, I'm doing fine, mate. Trust me. I was just being melodramatic. I'm sorry I said anything. Just be on your merry way and forget this ever happened. Alright? God, I can't bear to watch. You gotta stop doing this to yourself. Can't you see I'm no good for you? You're wrong about yourself. Look, mate, I understand your desire to fix me. Perhaps you see something in me that you want to fix in yourself, eh? But there ain't no getting around it. The two of us, the two of us are fundamentally inca incompatible, savvy? Ain't nothing healthy about two folks who can only hurt each other trying to stay close just to fill some kind of perceived void, mate. And it ain't no act of kindness to force yourself into someone's life. Uh, when they've made it real clear, it ain't the right call. I'd love it if I could, if this could work, but you just gotta move on. Sometimes there ain't no happy endings. This, you ain't normal, mate. This weren't no act of kindness to begin with, were it? You're some kind of ma masochist. <laughs> Either that, or you just get off on watching my reaction to you fling yourself into harm's way over and over. I won't be engaging you no longer. Poke yourself to death for all I, c I care, mate. I won't so much as bat an eye.
Oh, I wanted to see if you'd say something. Why the one up top? Just both a favor and leave me alone, mate. Oh, more dots. Alright, okay, okay. Good god, mate. You really are a sicko. Take my special technique and get out of here, freak. Is that what you wanted? Did that make it all worth it? You find all sorts of types in the lower crust, but you really take the crab cake, mate. Adaptations! Urchin talk. Throw an urchin that sticks to enemies before exploding. Worth it. Why are you still doing this? Oh, is that just it now? I think getting an uh, getting a thing from him is is the link you have to do. No wait, there's people over here that I apparently missed. Jewels, careful where you walk down here, little one. The streets chew you up and is as good as any predator. You gotta change your name, Lenny. This is Binko. No, this is Leonard. That's Banko. Come on, change your name. I said no. Look, you can't be a percussionist trio named Binko, Banko, and Leonard. And why the shell not? We'd sound like a goddamn comedy trio. Well, maybe we should do that instead. I'm listening. <laughs> Alright, dude, let him. Your mouth. All right. Yep, so that was a no. Vimba Ria. For the last time, Is Isla, give him the snips. It is not a full plan. But, Mom. Isla. They're making a move on Porgy, and the snips always works. Back me up on this, Eid Ide. Isa and Ide. Sorry, Isa. Your mama has a point. The crabs Porgy is in deep with aren't the kind you can just snip away. Yet, I can't do anything about this. He literally just tried to swerve towards me, didn't he? Actually, he probably didn't. He's just following a set path. This is a long one, because I want to get this whole town done. Before progressing. Polly. Hey, hey, you a customer? You ought to talk to my mom. She's the one in charge. Late Lemia. These little guys make my trips... Out to open ocean, a little less lonely and a little more safe. What more could a crab ask for, you know? 
Sassy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't seen you before, mister. You came to the right place. Mom's bar is super cool and popular. Benny. Ahoy there, traveler. Pull up a cork and stay a while. Oh, I, I can't. Oh. No. Why do I feel like I should be able to sit on this one? Nima! Hey there, youngin. Welcome to Bottom Feeders. Finest little watering hole this side of the slurry. Hi, uh, my name's Krill. I'm new to town, I guess. Thought I'd recognize a fresh face. Pleased to, pleased as plastic to meet you, Krill. Name's Nima, like a nematode. If you've got the money, why not stop on in for a bite? My kiddos and I would love to have you. We also offer a stowaway hiring service, if you're interested in such a thing. What's a stowaway? You mentioned something about stowaways? What are those? Oh, I'm sure you've seen them, them around. You have some equipment right now. That's our nickname for any sort of little fella that sticks itself to your shell, to your shell, little fella. Oh, like a barnacle. Exactly. For the night, for the right price, there's all sorts of them that might tag along. People pay for that? You sure do, hon. Lots of our visitors here are travelers just stopping by who could use a little company on the road. You gotta consider it if you've got a journey ahead of you. They're not stowaways if I'm paying for them. Just letting you know that. The, ocean, the open ocean can get mighty lonely, hun. I'll think about it. Thanks, ma'am. Aw, call me Nima, hun. I'm not a crabby old lady just yet. Just yet. Increase my stowaway quests. No. Let's see what we got here. Plug nut. Packing peanut. Used bandage, a lamprey, a fruit sticker, well, sinker, another crap! Times five. Or that just means she has five. I don't get five crabs. Hey, you see my shell? Hey, um, it's not too much of a bother. I'm looking for a shark that took my shell. Any chances he stopped by here? Fairly sure I'd remember a fella like that swimming into my establishment. Sorry, kiddo. That's okay, huh? No, no worries. Alright, so... Stowaways. The other one was shells. You're a blacksmith, so if you don't fight me, then you're gonna upgrade me. Hammerhead. You are not a hammerhead. Oh, you there, Scrap. It's a fine piece of metal in your claws there. Loss of promise. Get to make it shine with me, Scrap. Make it shine? You mean my fork? This is just some piece of junk I found in my neighborhood. Aye, and what a piece of junk it is, Scrap. Being this old smith, some relics he can break down. He'll show you what that junk of yours can truly do. Sounds useful. One, trade one stainless relic to improve my fork. Oh, so keys can improve my fork. I now have a level two fork with plus five attack. I don't have any. Have you seen my shell? I almost don't want to ask, but did a big jerk shark come here and trying to sell a shell for, for scrap? It would have probably seemed crazy to you because the shell was super gorgeous and cool. Hey, he came by, selling that shell to scrap as soon as I could. What? Are you serious? Sure as a foam I am. Nah, wait. You said a shark. Scrap that. My mistake. No sharks came by, Nate. What? Well, what did you think I said? You almost gave me a heart attack. No need to strut. No need to shout, Scrap. My ears work just fine. 
I don't know what voice you have turned into. Hmm. It's gotta be somewhere. I just gotta find where that shark went. The city is so big. How am I ever gonna find my shell? Hmm. This place is so stupid. And it's loud. It's actually not. It's very quiet, other than that dude's car. Who's about to run me over? You missed me. Why couldn't everyone just leave me alone? Everywhere I turn, someone's trying to take something away from me. Or sell me some kind of... Pronathan. Pronathan. Scuttle right. I scuttle right up, fellow citizens. Oh, that's the prawn shop I saw. It's the grand opening of the prawn shop. Full of legitimate shallows. Made wares. We got plastic. We got metals. We got packing foam. We got garbage you ain't ever heard of yet. What the? That's my shell, and he's wearing it as a freaking hat. But we'll handle him in the next one.